Let's examine the following problem that will deal with using the Doppler effect for sound waves. So let's begin with part A. Compare the change in frequency if a 2000 Hz source is moving towards a stationary observer at a velocity of 30 meters per second versus if the observer is moving at a velocity of 30 meters per second towards the stationary source. Assume that the temperature of the air through which the sound wave is propagating is 25 meter or 25 degrees Celsius. So we're examining two different cases. In case one, we essentially have a stationary observer and the sound source is moving at a velocity of 30 meters per second towards the stationary source, stationary observer. And in case two, we have a stationary source and the observer is moving at a velocity of 30 meters per second towards the stationary source. So let's begin with case one. So we essentially want to find the new frequency, the observed frequency as perceived by the observer. So we have to use this equation that we derived in the previous several lectures. So we have our perceived frequency f prime is equal to the original frequency f divided by 1 minus the velocity of the source divided by the velocity of the sound. So velocity of sound when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius is 346 meters per second. So we have 2000 hertz divided by 1 minus 30 divided by 346, notice the meters per second cancel, and we have a value of approximately 2,190 hertz. Now let's move on to the second case. Now our source is stationary, so we can't use this equation. We have to use a different equation. We have to utilize the following equation that was also derived in the previous lecture. So our perceived frequency when our observer is moving towards the stationary source is equal to 1 plus the velocity of the observer divided by the velocity of sound multiplied by the actual frequency. So 2000 hertz multiplied by 1 plus 30 divided by 346 gives us about 2173 hertz. Notice that there is a very small difference between the following two values. Let's move on to part B. Let's suppose now we want to increase the velocity of the observer and the velocity of the source to 200 meters per second. So now we want to repeat the calculations but instead of using 30 meters per second, we use 200 meters per second. So we use this formula as shown and we get a value of 4,797 hertz. And then we use this equation and we get 3,156 hertz. We simply replace 30 with 200 meters per second. So notice if we increase the velocity of the source or the observer relative to the velocity of the sound, the difference between these two values will be greater. In fact, generally speaking, the smaller the speed of the source or the observer is relative to the speed of sound, the smaller the difference is between these two equations. In fact, if our values, if the velocity is very small compared to the speed of sound, these two formulas will give us approximately the same number. So for example, if the speed is one meter per second, and instead of 30 meters per second, these values are, will, be, will be approximately equal to one another. 